was great, huh? You've got some nerve coming up to me after ambushing me like that. What were you thinking? Just trying to convince you to leave my fake boyfriend alone. Duh. But Sammy is my fake boyfriend. Wait, what am I saying? I figured out what you and Sammy are trying to do and I want in. You're getting so much attention. So I decided that your fake relationship made me fake jealous. And you real attacked me? Sammy said you'd be chill with it. Of course he did. You know he's married, right? Of course. I don't want a real relationship any more than you do. Ew. You have some serious explaining to do. Sorry, sorry. I meant to give you the heads up. Unfortunately, Liv found you before I could. But wasn't it neat? Two women fighting over me, Sami Zayn? I'm over this fake relationship, Sammy. We're fake done. No, don't leave me. Especially not when I've just set up a no DQ match between you and Liv for my affection. You want Liv and me to fight for you in the ring? Of course I do. What do you think I'm above flipping antiquated gender norms in a silly but totally good for my personal publicity sort of way? I don't think you're above anything, Sammy. Right? Personally, I wanted to be on a pole for the match, but that's where management drew the line. You'll just have to settle for me being in your corner when you fight Liv. For me. Me, Sammy Zayn. I'll do the match, but if I win, I'm dumping you, Sammy. All's fair in love in WWE, but don't expect Liv to play nice. She's almost as into the attention as I am. I guess watch me is more than just a catchphrase for her. It's the superstar who's driven to live up to all the hype. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Sami Zayn from Phnom Penh, Cambodia, one half of the Women's Tag Team Champions, LJ Stephanie. It will be fascinating to see if this tag team champ can have the same success in a singles match. She wouldn't be the first superstar to make a successful crossover from tag to singles competition. This second generation superstar looks to finish on top in this one. Well, one of the most popular competitors in the women's and division. From Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan! We used to wonder if Liv Morgan could ever reach her potential. Ah! Well, she has done that and more. Yeah, who will ever forget when Liv Morgan won the Money in the Bank contract and managed to successfully cash in on Ronda Rousey to win the SmackDown Women's Championship. There truly is a lot to unpack in this one. We've got the continued presence of Sami Zayn acting as, I guess, a manager. Coming out the backstage attack by Liv Morgan with rumors swirling behind her motivation. Liv's motivation is love, Michael. And love makes you do crazy things. I just can't understand why any woman would be fighting over a man who looks like old chewing gum you find under the couch. But nonetheless, here we are. Just breaking down the opponent. Oh, unloading a big kick to the back. Target in the arm now. A little 
battle rope assistance attacking the arm. You can see the intent behind that attack. Exploiting the arm must be the strategy here. Oh, and over. Extraordinary offense from Morgan. Bit by bit, Morgan chipping. Whoa! Slingshot sent on, yes! Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. one. Yeah, this win was well earned. Well, if there's one thing people say about me, it's that I am a man of my word. Consider our fake romantic liaison over. Good. And for the record, I dumped you. I mean, for now. People are really invested in us, and so in a few months when we reconcile, people are going to be eating it up. Right. Whatever, Sammy. See you around. Hey, I'm, I'm working on something. I don't know if you'd have any interest, but you do strike me as someone who's desperate to grow your fan base. <laughs> Why are you always trying to cause trouble, Sonia? Somehow, I don't think whatever this is is something I want to be involved with. At least not with you. I, I'm, I'm not being mean. Why do people keep thinking I'm trying to start something when I'm just trying to be nice? Sorry, it's just your wording, your attitude. To be honest, everything about you. Whatever, look, we may be WWE superstars, but I wanna give back by putting on a show specifically for up and coming talent. I'm working with LAW to set up some matches, raise some money for them, and maybe even mentor the next generation a little. That's a good thing, right? And I wanted to know if you were interested in getting involved and having a match there. That does sound like a good thing. Who am I fighting? 
And what's in it for you? I'd set you up against an indie wrestler, Geneva Rose. And maybe I just like helping people. Obviously, I need work on letting people see that side of me. So what do you say? Honestly, I'm still totally skeptical of your motives, but I'm on board for the next generation of wrestlers coming up. Not for you. Great. I'll send over some paperwork for you to sign before your match, and then you can even deduct some stuff on your taxes, just like you do for charity. See you there. Wait, are you doing this for a tax break?
Thanks for doing this. The crowd loved it. I'm happy to give someone a beat down anytime, any place. And if this one inspired some up and coming wrestlers and was tax deductible, all the better. LAW seems like a good place to grow talent. I'm glad to hear that because you just earned yourself a match against Odyssey Rift for the LAW Championship. I'm not trying to win an LAW title. I came here for your event, that's all. Are you sure you don't want the match? I have to be honest, after getting a taste of being a WWE official, before it was unfairly taken away from me, I realized that I really like power. The power to broker matches for LAW? The power to run LAW and turn it into a legitimate rival of WWE. And this? is the first step. I told you I was trying to raise money and support up and coming talent. That could be you. I'm happy on SmackDown. And I'm pretty sure you can't run LAW while under contract with WWE. Who knows? But I'm willing to bet WWE won't be happy if they find out you signed a full contract with LAW yourself. I didn't. The only thing you didn't do was read that paperwork I sent over for you to sign. <laughs> That's fraud. Mm, sounds to me like breach of contract. Good luck enforcing that. I doubt I'll have to enforce anything. Once Odyssey Rift finds out you're refusing to face her. <laughs> I don't have time for this, Sonia. I did your event, and now I have to get back to SmackDown. And there's one half of the tag team champions who's building a very impressive start to her career. Who is that? I think that's Odyssey Rift, but she's not signed with WWE. What's this all about? Hey, hang on a second, guys. It seems like... Oh, man, they couldn't wait any longer. They're already tearing each other apart backstage. Able to avoid any harm there. Leaping into the wheelbarrow, up and around into the DDT. You can almost see the gears turning in their head as they set up the table. Ouch, caught her. She's setting something up. Check your face after that one. Bang! She did her homework there. Oof, gut punch. Nasty. Countered it just in time. Oh my gosh, what impact. 
Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Oh. Ridiculous standing oh. shooting star. God. Here. Boom! Crafty way to get out of harm there. Oh my God, a steel chair! <laughs> oh, strong impact! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> she anticipated that one. <laughs> Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Uh oh, she's fighting back. Shoulder tackle. Ooh, vicious kick to the spine. On the outside. An agile escape. Overhand. <laughs> Looks like setting up for a suplex. We're gonna finish things off. She's got her where she wants her. With the counter. Reversal on top of reversal. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Oh, oh kick connects. She avoids the contact. Running Hurricane Rana. Oh. And that one misses the mark. Celia Del Sol. She's rising back up on those wobbly legs. Here we go again. Oh, unique offense. And the attacks up there must be taking their toll. Her vision's got to be seeing some dark spots at this point. Standing shooting star press incredible. From the heavens, big time splash. Oh man, stiff kick. She avoids the attack completely. Brilliant countering by both competitors. And some effective offense with that one. That's another focused attack to her torso area. Ooh, oh, perfect kick. Boom, boom, what a kick. Ooh, oh, what a kick. Ooh, bam, connects on the kick. You can tell she wants to put an end to this. She is queuing it up again. Oh, it was a stunner. That was the best one I've ever seen. We might need medical personnel out here very soon. I'd agree with you. The referee can only diagnose so much. Slips out of the way. And we just saw some serious offense. Great timing on that knee to the gut. She's compromised. Face buster. Standing shooting star press incredible. Ooh, oh, what a kick. And she's using this moment to summon all of her strength. Ducks through, up and over. Please stay down. Looks like you get your wish, Saxton. This brawl is over. Looks like someone made Odyssey Rift pretty angry. <laughs> I know you snuck her into the arena, Sonia, and you crossed the line. 
You really think you can come onto WWE turf with nonsense from another promotion? <laughs> when they find out what you're doing. What are you going to do? Tell on me? Don't forget, I'm not the only wrestler under contract with LAW now. I can handle my business to both. You, <laughs> I'm not so sure about. That contract you tricked me into signing is not enforceable and you know it. <laughs> I'm not worried about any legality. As long as I have Odyssey Rift as my enforcer, she's not going to let this go until you face her in the ring. Neither will I, but I'm a reasonable woman. You want your freedom? Take us both on and give me a marquee LAW main event. On one condition, make it a your hired match. What? It's like a your fired match in reverse. Loser has to sign a real ironclad contract with LAW. I'm confused. I thought you wanted out of your contract. I do, but I want rid of you too. And I don't intend on losing. When I beat you, the new contract you sign with LAW will be exclusive with a sizable non-compete clause, meaning your WWE days will be officially behind you. <laughs> You're pretty cocky when you want to be, huh? Can't wait to have that attitude fully in the LAW family. <laughs> and I can't wait to watch you sign your WWE career away.
Thanks for coming. Of course. I'm ready to win some singles gold. But what was so sensitive that you didn't want to talk at SmackDown? I've been thinking. I want to make sure that your singles run is a success. I want to manage you. That's great. And you need to distance yourself from Ava. What? I've been watching your matches. You're the real star. If you drop the baggage, you're sure to get a title opportunity. Besides, you know that tag team partnerships never work out in the long run. It's only a matter of time. I know people around here turn on their partners like there's something in the water, but tag team partnerships can work out sometimes. Look at the New Day. And how long collectively has any of them been a singles champion? Okay, I see what you're saying, but I'm not sure if Ava is a problem. Molly says management has been really happy with our tag team reign. I'm sure she'd let me pursue the SmackDown women's title too. Molly. Fitting you'd bring her up, considering she's a great example of why tag teams don't work out. I'm speaking from personal experience. You know what she did to me. Everyone knows Justine. Molly turning on you in the middle of the ring is a classic WWE moment. <sighs> so then everyone knows she's a snake. A snake who has yet to book you in a championship match, despite all the work you've been doing. <sighs> I wouldn't be surprised if she's holding you back on purpose. My relationship with Molly is different than yours. Molly's been helping me. Listen, I'll talk to her. I'm sure if I ask, she'll set me up with a championship match. <laughs> we'll see. Hey, I was actually looking for you. I wanted to talk to you and Ava about planning your next tag championship defense. Representing the division as the tag team champions has been great, but I actually wanted to talk to you about a singles run. Isn't there still one open slot in the fatal four way for the SmackDown Women's Championship at day one? I'd love to have that spot. You and the rest of the roster. Besides, you're doing a great job as one of the tag champions. Might not be best to split your focus right now. I hear you, but I've been working harder than the rest of the roster. When am I getting an opportunity? Just have some patience. <sighs> I'm beginning to wonder if there's something to what Justine was telling me. Excuse me? I'm sorry, but I have to bring it up. Justine is convinced that you have some ulterior motive against me because of your history with each other. She thinks that since you betrayed her in the ring, I shouldn't trust you. Seriously? Betrayed her in the middle of the ring? Do you really think that's all there is to the story? It happened on Raw, Molly. You turned on Justine during the middle of a match. Everyone saw. Are you going to tell me that didn't happen? No, I did that, but geez. Don't believe everything you see on TV. What's that supposed to mean? I only turned on Justine because I caught wind that she was trying to turn on me. She was politicking with management backstage to get them to break up our tag team. She was so convinced she was a single star, she was prepared to throw me under the bus. But then I found out what she was up to and beat her to the punch, literally. That's what really happened? Listen, as far as I'm concerned, this is ancient history. What incentive do I have to lie to you now? And I'll be honest, it didn't end that badly for me. Turning on Justine? Let's just say that making a move like that in WWE is one hell of a statement and lets everyone know you mean business. Wow. Like I said before, I don't have any ill will towards your aunt today. Enough ancient history. Let's talk about your next tag title defense on SmackDown. And I'll think about putting you in the fatal four-way at day one.
and one of the most popular competitors in the women's division. Liv Morgan likes to say, watch me. Well, she's about to get what she wants because tonight it's all eyes on her. Indeed, we're going to watch Liv and see what she's capable of here tonight. She looks fired up. for brutal judgment. Rhea Ripley is a tough, tough woman. You can tell a lot about a person by the company they keep, and Ripley is in company with true evil. No, 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 no. Ripley is simply realizing what it takes to reach the top. A complete disregard for the rules. A complete lack of morality. The nightmare is real. It just got a lot more frightening. Maria Ripley looks ready to torment yet another victim. What's the matter over there, Saxton? You feel a little squeamish? A little uncomfortable. Better get ready. The tag champions always put on an impressive show. We might be impressed, but their opponents often leave compressed and depressed. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers, Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley. And their opponents, they are the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, LJ Stephanie and Ava Moreno. The WWE Universe wanted it. The women deserved it. A legacy continues to grow tonight. The WWE Women's Tag Team titles are up for grabs. Long demanded by the WWE Universe and the competitors in the women's division. The women's tag team titles are indeed here, and tonight they're on the line. We've seen alliances in the women's division forming for years, and it's culminating with these pairs facing off for the top prize in women's tag team competition. Impact with a basement drop kick. Great precision. Oh, man. On a heel hook, stretch. In off the tag. She's 
pushed into the corner. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Big back body drop. Ooh, what a forearm club. Dodged right on cue. And now dropping the bombs. Big blow could be felt throughout the arena. from the nightmare to the WWE Universe. And now dropping the bombs. Intercepted! The challenger's looking shaken. Sky high! Diving shoulder tap with the championship on the line! The challenger's able to kick out. Wow! Great awareness as 
She proves to be too quick. Morgan off the ropes with a choke. Face breaker. That's got to be it. Champ with an immediate kick out there. What's it going to take to put this match away?
using the elbow to escape the attack. She is queuing it up again. She ain't Now that is why they're the champ. Shoulders down. No, oh, she kicked it out. That's how much winning this title means to give everything you've got. I don't know how much you can have left after that, but she's got to be impressed. Can't put this one away even after that big maneuver. DDT on the foot. She is still in this fight. Oh, step up in Zagari. Escape just in time. I set out that slam. Boom, did you hear the impact? Defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Into the corner. This can't be good. There's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Get her big, big body drop. She's able to make it. Kneecap goes right into the face to halt the attack. Rhea Ripley can kill with a smile and wound with her eyes. Scoop slam sets things up. Draped across the top rope. Flying forward. Oh. Lee got out of the way. <laughs> Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Competitor has such a deep arsenal. We're about to see more. Oh, Head scissor. Incredible. The champ looking worn out. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battles. An impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Yes, tag. Oh, she responds with a counter. Strong kick out from the resistance. 
Brazilian champion. What a kick out. Chopper down with a low kick. Back out to safety. Did you see that? Drop kick. Oh! Rhea Ripley in a state of distress. Ripley has to stop struggling. More attacks like that will leave you gasping for air. Yeah, it looks like it already is. What's she waiting for? She's looking more focused on gesturing rather than winning. Oh, yeah, she's saying, let's go, bring it. Oh, my God, a DDT! Lights out. Set to the outside hard. Oof. Oh, did she get out of there? Leaping into the wheelbarrow. Up and up. Boom, DDT. More attacks to the neck area. Not a pretty sight to witness. She's trying one more time. showing by this tag team gives you hope for the future of the tag division great tag team action on display guys